Okay, one of the first things I did was I took a styrofoam ball that I got at a craft store. This is an 8 inch styrofoam ball. And I found a bucket that was pretty cheap and I decorated it. Not the best bow in the world. I don't know how to do a bow. Um, but uh, so what I did, I took a styrofoam ball, I took some green um, tissue paper, and I just wrapped it around the ball just so when I put the cupcakes on it won't show through little spots. And you want the ball to be a little bigger than your bucket. And I put something in the bucket just to weigh it down so it's not as hard. And I just want to push it down pretty good just so it doesn't fall over. And I'm going to put a little extra tape just from here to there on each side just to secure it, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and now I baked some cupcakes ahead of time. I allowed them to cool off. And what some people do is actually put the icing on first, then they put them on the styrofoam ball. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually find where I want them to go, and I'm going to start with the base. And I'm going to stick the... I have little toothpicks, but they're about three inches long, I guess. Find right where I want it to go, and kind of in an angle, push this in. You want it to be in a down, downward angle so it holds the cupcake so it doesn't fall down. And I'm going to do about two per cupcake just to make sure they're secured in there pretty well. Okay, I got the base done and it took 13 cupcakes just to go around. So you're going to use a lot of cupcakes and on the next layer what I want to do is I want to start right in between the two cupcakes and put it like that. What I'm going to do is start with the icing. I have a Wilton 2D tip. This is what it looks like. And I just have it in a disposable piping bag. And I'm going to start right in the middle and just apply pressure and spin out. And it should look like a rose. And you may want to clean your tip every once in a while just so it comes out clean. Okay, all together it took 39 cupcakes to fill. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I still have my 2D Wilton 2D tip and a piping bag disposable. I have some red, it's uh, gel based food coloring. I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to put a good amount on here. Don't put it on the outside of the bag like I just did. You want it to go inside and you want it to just smear one one side of the bag with it. So if you do it right, you should have a streak on one side and nothing on the other side. And of course nothing on the outside like I did. Do the exact same thing we did with the red. My icing's a little runny, so what I'm going to do is stick it in the refrigerator a little while. Okay, I've allowed my cream cheese frosting to harden up a bit so that I can do the rest of these without them just sliding right off. And for some finishing touches, as you can see, there's some spots on here that have openings. You can take some green um, tissue paper. Just ball it up and you can stick it in there just to fill the gaps. Okay, most of the large gaps have been filled. Don't worry about the small gaps because that's why we wrapped it with tissue paper to begin with. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you do it. It takes a little bit of work, but if you do it, it's fun and the person you give it to will like it. Now you may be asking, how do you transport this? That's a good question. Um, I'm going to show you what I am going to try to do and hopefully it works out and I'll let you know. Okay, so when we're talking about transporting, this is what I have. I have a huge box and I have some other cardboard at the bottom which I cut a hole into just to, um, so I can set the bucket inside of there. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try setting this bucket inside that hole 
and hopefully it'll hold it for stability. Also what I'm going to do is I have these large wooden skewers. What I'm going to do is just to make sure it doesn't shift right or left, I'm going to stick these in to the opening spot and kind of hold it that way. If you like this video and more videos that I make, hit the subscribe button below. You can also check out some of the other videos I recently made by selecting the columns to the right. Thank you.